What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Angry Jackal of Rob Ricks, continuing, continuing the Experience Life In It To Win It series of journals and books that I have created to help me in my research and my writing and the things that I do and overall just to keep my shit organized. So I have a lot of these different ones. I've covered these ones in the past. Now I'm going to talk with you guys about the Research Master. So what is the Research Master? Well, the Research Master is a journal designed to keep notes, to-dos, other vital bits of data at your fingertips on the go. This provides you an analog journal giving you redundancy to your digital notes. Including a journal of the following sections. Memory jogger, there's five sheets of that. Task killer, there's five sheets for that. And notes, 18 spreads with notes on the left and refined detail notes on the right. You can use it however you want. I'm gonna show you guys, I have one here called Author Research. And what this one was is I went through and there were these master classes that had series uh, with Dan Brown, um, they had Neil Gaiman, The Art of Storytelling, there was James Patterson, R.L. Stein, um, Malcolm Gladwell, Benjamin Percy, and what I basically did is I kept this research journal on me and then I started to watch different videos with people talking about stuff like, you know, writing query letters. Like I, I went through this one section uh, about agents, you know, uh, JessicaBrady.com or Brody. And, you know, she, basically she went down and started talking about the difference between agents and agencies and blah, 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 blah. And started talking about different stuff. So the first thing I did is, I started using Memory Jogger just to jot little bits of notes, right? And that way I had this to refer back to the content that I was watching. I'd look at a note, I'd think about it and go, oh, that's right, they were talking about royalties or they were talking about the benefit of uh, boutique publishing versus a true publishing house and also the benefit of um, self-publishing versus traditional publishing. And so you can see there are lots of spaces for you to write the item of importance and then something, you know, it could be. For example, you could put in here a website address and then here you could put a password uh, hint, you know, something for yourself. You could write things in code and that way you have all your stuff here, but you have things in code. So if you're like, oh man, what was that damn website? Like I go through my history on my web my pages and I'm always searching for something that I, I needed. Well, with the research master, I could actually write that down and then have it available related to the thing that I'm researching. So there's a lot of times you might have a particular project that you're working on. This is really good for keeping project notes segmented and away from other stuff. So memory joggers there. And then we get into tasks. And what I have on anything that I have, whether it be uh, the day plan or anything else, in task, I always have uh, XP because this is part of an overall series of journals and books for experienced life in it to win it, where we're making life um, kind of like a video game and an RPG specifically, where our task, we give it experience points. And then as we achieve those tasks, we keep ta uh, a tally of it, and in that way, you could think to yourself, you're leveling up, because really we are. Uh, the, we level up with the sum, you know, the sum of all of our experiences, good or bad, and then we learn from it, right? So anyways, here, I had stuff like Tast, Photos of Books, Three Simple Rules, The Rusted Blade, Infernal Justice, Harry's Situation, Update the Website, Add the uh, Three Simple Rules, Add Rusted Blade, Infernal, blah, 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 Add in Real-Time Story Time on RRR. And these were all last year. So I wrote these ones uh, July, and I wanted them done by July 1st, and I gave them all these experience points. And basically, you can track 5%, 20%, 40%, 60 80 and done so if this is something that you're kind of working back and going forward and everything with you track it these were all done i had since gone from this to this guy 
and inside of these they had the tasks so when I, I jumped away from using only this guy to using this and this then I didn't really need to update this one this section on the left this is where I write my notes and you can see this is a grid but there's lines under it so you can actually use this to grid make notes charts whatever you want this is completely open canvas for you to jot your notes so you can see here's Dan Brown he's talking about story hero goals obstacles um, moment good beats evil etc um, how not what and then he has three C's contract clock and crucible okay and then he basically talks about his different stuff and then what I did is as he's going through and talking I'm writing notes drawing pictures things of that nature and then out of this stuff I went and started to drill down I went through my notes and started to create more concise notes about things that I thought was the most important out of this to this give readers what they want in a way they didn't see coming so all of this notes here were summarized to that and that's important because whether you're writing notes on a class or you're writing notes on a meeting or you're writing notes on whatever a lot of times we have a list a big list of stuff but then we need to go back and review that and pull out the most important action items that's super duper important and that's what these these little vital bits so the most important bit of information from today's notes go here vital bits two: continuation of one or additional information to be extra prepared vital bits three continuation of one or maximum effort to be research master you overachiever you so again it's yours you do whatever you want the vital bits can continue down as far as you want or you could even say task one task two task three it is completely up to you how you do it and so as i continued with dan brown i went through here i didn't really need to do anything here this was just additional notes right and dan brown's was great then we went to neil gaiman's okay so there's neil gaiman's all the notes that i derived from his stuff And there, I didn't really go through this and do this because I felt all of this was relevant. I didn't need to go in further. That was perfect. Then, you know, same day with Malcolm Gladwell, nonfiction. There's all this information there. Again, this is all stuff that's pertinent to me in my research and things of that nature. So, in a nutshell, that is what the research master is all about um, it's up on Amazon on Lulu you guys can go grab one if you want but this is actually very useful in of itself but you can also use it in conjunction with the other journals like all these journals really are all kind of designed to work in tandem with each other so you know there's research for your writing stuff but there might be research overall for the craft like me I have one for all my writing stuff and as I learn from other authors or podcasts or whatever I write the notes in here and then I have my daily journal that I write stuff and keep track so you can see they're all related and even if you had multiple they're still super thin these are about the sizes of comic books so really are, are very thin graphic novels you can see you can carry a bunch of these with you inside of a backpack or whatever else to keep your stuff organized all right so anyway that concludes this episode on research master and we are all trying to master our craft and so that is something that i think would be useful whether you're programming your 3d uh modeling your whatever there's always bits and pieces i remember when i first started my journey as a html designer if I had something like this at the time, I'd write code snippets and things of that nature, things that I'd have to reference from time to time and time, just little notes to keep my shit right. Um, keyboard shortcuts, you know, um, usernames and passwords, etc., etc. So you can see there's a ton of uses there. All right, 
that's it. If you like it, like it, please subscribe. Tell your friends far and wide. Until next time, motherfuckers, please be good to yourself, good to each other. Go out and live life to the fullest. Ride the bus to the wheels, fall off all that jazz. Find some love, get some scars, have some adventures, and I will see you guys next time.